are so excited to be starting off our day here in Arabacoa in the Dominican Republic. We're gonna be taking out UTVs today. This city is called the city of eternal spring because it's always so beautiful, so temperate, and I can't wait to check it out. You ready? Oh, I'm ready. Oh, look. Yeah, Are we matching? Yeah. We're like, we're adorable. <laughs> Okay, we are about to start our journey. It's two hours. We'll be doing some river crossings, gaining some altitude, checking out some views, maybe swimming. I'm excited. Are you guys excited? Oh, man. Trevor and Anna, delightful travelers. We're so stoked to go out. I'm We're gonna... strapped in so I can't actually move right now. <laughs> We're gonna link their channel in the description below and in the upper right-hand corner, so check them out. Hola, señor. Hey, ¿qué tal? ¿Qué tal? Bien, gracias a Dios. So before we get started, we are here right now with this company, Four Wheel Arabacoa and we are going out on this amazing tour. It's gonna to be a two hour tour. We're gonna to go through rivers, over mountains, up to outlooks, and all over the place, and it's all thanks to our amigo here. Luis Arabacoa, el país de Luis aquí, como siempre, para ayudar a la gente y hacer sus vacaciones nítidas. Perfecto. All right, Trevor can't get the seatbelt on. I think it's I think it's because okay. he had too much pizza last night. What do you think? <laughs> oh. All right, we've sorted out the seatbelt situation. Not going out. La montaña. Yeah. Un río. Sí. Gracias. Gracias. All right, Marin is driving, which is not terrifying at all. <laughs> They were gonna roll because I thought they were gonna roll. Man, that is getting <laughs> intense pretty fast. This is, this is so cool though. Whoever thought this would be in the Dominican Republic? Not us. It's like, it's crazy, right? I, I can't get over it. We're not at the playa anymore, I guess. We are not at the playa. Look at this river. Wow. Wow. We are at the stopping point to take a look around in the river. We could swim here. I might not swim because it's kind of chilly but I will definitely check out the beautiful water. It's full of burrs. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh no, Trevor's oh, bird. Oh, no. The burrs got him. It's okay, it's okay. Welcome to the jungle. I have, Welcome I to the jungle. <laughs> it's not all fun and games. There's a saying that says that God is everywhere, but he sleeps in Arabacoa, and judging by the view here, it is so true. It is incredible. Arabacoa is about two and a half hours from the north coast and just 30 minutes from Santiago, so it's an amazing destination that seems to be so mysterious. It's over 500 meters or 15, 1600 feet above sea level, and the temperature is amazing year-round. What a lot of people don't know about the Dominican Republic is it has one of the tallest peaks in the Caribbean. Pico Duarte is about 10,000 feet tall, and we're pretty close to it, about 30 miles. So this is part of that mountain range, and it is absolutely stunning. It's not even that hot out today, whereas on the north coast, it would be sweltering. I love it up here. The mountains are incredible. This is our second stop on the tour so far, and we are at the highest point that we're gonna reach on this tour. And wow, the views are beautiful. Hey, This got is the some, life. Got some beer. A little snack because I hear there's more. I find that hard to believe. It's hard to believe that there's more. Here. Cheers. Cheers. There you go. Cheers. Hopefully you guys can hear us okay because it is hella it loud is here. so loud. <laughs> Cheers! We stopped for a roadside cerveza. We've stopped at a local Comado here. You can probably hear the sound is so loud. Check out this place over here. And they are just blasting these speakers all day long. They're having a great time. They're playing dominoes, enjoying, and it is just... It, it's so we beautiful. could not have asked for a better day here in Arabacoa. I mean, it's like, there's, there's literally not a cloud in the sky. And most people tell us that this place often has a lot of clouds, a lot of fog. Moody lighting. Yeah, moody lighting, but like, 
it is sunny, it's 80 degrees, and it's perfect. I mean, this is a blast, isn't yeah. it? Like, this is a really, really fun tour. And yeah, great honestly, way to see the mountains. An amazing way. We're having a great time. Erin <laughs> is our DD. She's, uh, she's not drinking beer, mostly because she just doesn't like it. How are you guys doing? Oh man, okay. this is so good. I think they said we're supposed to swim at the next place. Okay. <laughs> so, you guys ready to swim? There it is, swim. Oh. hot day. It's very hot. The river is very cold. Max is gonna go swimming and I'm gonna video Oh, it. come on. You're gonna go swimming with no. me. No? Come yeah, on. Yeah, but I'm gonna video you because, you know, footage, YouTube, right? We could just put the camera on, the, on like the rock there. No. No, no it'll okay. fall over. You sure? I'm gonna do it. <laughs> making sure there's nothing in my pockets. Car keys, wallet. I either, I either took the car keys out of my pocket or I lost them. I think it's one or the other. Oh, God. Oh, God. He's a brave soul. Yeah, you guys not going in? Uh, I, I take back one. everything oh. I said earlier and no, I'm not going in. This is pretty much like a Canadian river in the summertime. Yeah, if you guys don't know, we're from Canada mm -hmm. and uh, <laughs> this is very cold. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> agreed. He doesn't but this agree. Colorado guy. born and raised, baby! <laughs> Woo! As you can see, he's loco. <laughs> yeah. Loco, baby. Un poco loco. So this water is incredible. It's, it's amazingly clear and beautiful. And one of the things that amazes me the most up at this altitude is that they don't even have really that many bugs, at least like mosquitoes in there. There's some flies and dragonflies flying around, but really the mosquitoes don't seem to be that prevalent. And I think it's because of the altitude that we have here and maybe the colder weather, but it makes an amazing place to hang out. Looks like she's finally going me drive. Where's the, where's the pedal? Is that the one on the right? No, I'm scared. How does this one work? Am I in like park or anything? Here you go. Oh, this thing over Oh, here we go. Wow. This is so cool. Oh my god, that was fun. That was amazing. Wow. We have arrived back at Four Wheel and Abacoa here. What an amazing tour we had. This was so much fun. We're only here for a, literally like today. We leave tomorrow. I wish we were in Abaco longer, but there are so many things to do. It's honestly amazing. I cannot recommend this tour enough either. But so now I'm starving, so <laughs> we're gonna get some lunch. I definitely think it's time to grab some lunch because I am also starving. I think we went a little over time on this tour. It's time to go grab something to eat. Cheers. <laughs> De Dios, which is a restaurant at the top of the mountain here, overlooking Rabacoa. It is absolutely stunning. There are parasailers flying all around us. They take off right above the restaurant. It is so cool. We are sitting inside. It is kind of outside because there's windows that open all the way around. Reservations are a bit hard to get here, so you have to reserve. She said at least a month in advance if you want to sit outside, or you have to wait about three hours. So it, take your chances, but I'd recommend reserving a table. And look at the menu before you come so when you sit down you can order right away because it takes a long time here. The service is incredibly slow but it is absolutely worth the view and the way the beautiful mountains. I mean you can see so far almost to the coast. It's incredible. So we'll see how the food is. It's very expensive but it's beautiful. So good. Lomo salsa, like a Peruvian dish. Very, very good. Like Peruvian with a Dominican twist and some French fries. Salad. Love it. And we've got like a churrasco. I've already eaten like a solid amount of it. <laughs> Sorry. We have had such an incredible day. I mean, everything from those UTV tours to randomly finding this place and getting to come up here. 
It's, it's been awesome. It's so beautiful here. I mean, this is probably the best view in the area, honestly. But honestly, watching those guys, the parasailers, come over the top of this building the entire day <laughs> has got us inspired. We have to do this before we leave. We're gonna do that first thing tomorrow morning. We've actually decided to extend another night here in Arabacoa because there's just too much to do, including this amazing parasailing experience. So. Be sure to stay tuned to the next video. Yes, if you like today's video, then you will definitely like that video. We are gonna have a blast. We are gonna go parasailing off a mountain, go check out hopefully some waterfalls, and who knows what else we might find. <laughs> I heard there's maybe a coffee farm we might check out. And maybe some barbecues. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Stay tuned for more videos from down here in the Dominican Republic and all around the world. And be sure to follow us on Instagram at VoyagerGuru and check out our blog at VoyagerGuru.com. And as always, I'm Marin. And I'm Max. And we're VoyagerGuru. See you out there.